Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to paint a cool uh, beach scene shirt. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to show you how, to, how I go through and put this together. Uh, then you guys could you know, try it yourself and show me your results. Um, you know, this is pretty popular design. Sounds good. You know, make you a quick 15, 20 bucks. Anyway, let's get started. What we want to start off doing is setting off a skyline where we want, you know, where the water ends and stuff. So, I'm going to start off by finding the center of the shirt, more or less up there. And just make small little injunctions. Make sure your paint's running good. And then around that dot, just make a quick halo. And not to be too, too crazy with it. Right down the middle, you just want to do a quick line. Right down the middle, just like that. So now that we got our, this is basically our skyline because on on beach the skyline is the water. So <laughs> you know that's basically our skyline right there. Now what we want to do is bring in the sky down, add some clouds, and um, we'll go from there. So first let's bring the sky down a little bit. bright yellow in there and we're going to bring it down a little bit right over here as well and we're going to create a wave and we want some of the sun to be shining through that wave right there a little bit of just regular orange transparent orange here and um, we're going to add in some clouds we're going to bring that sky in a little bit of that sky orange it out beautiful colors Make some clouds. Some clouds. You, know, you just want to make a quick squiggly coming down and kind of a dagger stroke at the same time. You get it come down and end in points. We're gonna do a couple of them coming across the sky here. So I'll show you what I mean here. And just something like that. And another one. I'm gonna keep these random. Back in. Add some more stuff to it. Little, little right there. That's a cool little cloud effect. So, now that's about all the orange we need on there. I don't want any more orange than that. So, what we're going to do next is take a little bit of purple. Take a little bit of transparent. Uh, I think this is fluorescent purple. Um, it's just a nice bright purple. You can try to mix and match them colors. And this is pretty much what I got right here. So I'm going to throw some of this and we're going to do the mountain lines coming in. And it's going to be like a cove we're staring at here. So we're going to just draw some squiggly lines coming in. Then a little bit of a mountain. Not a nice feel. And it's totally random, you know. Practice some certain kind if you want or whatever. And what we want to do with these is completely fill this up. Uh, fill it in all the way. You want to be careful not to get too much overspray on there. First, you might have a little bit of trouble on there. And just learn to work with the learn to work with the air. Learn how not. Let go of the air and use it to your advantage. So after we've got all that, I'm going to take a little bit of bright blue here and we're going to drill in our water and our wave and you know, give it a nice, nice water. So i start off with our scarlet here while I'm bringing it all the way across. So essentially, what we want to do is become waves, you know, so 
if we can add a few waves going across and then the wave, you know, the wave that we're staring at is going to overpower the background. So we're going to do those few and you'll see uh, I add a shape in for the wave here and you know, go from there. Essentially, we want to make it seem like the sun, which we'll, we'll add in, in a second over here, is shining through the wave that's you know higher than these. So, we just want to give it a little bit of a water creeping up kind of effect right here. And we'll just do some quick, quick texturizing. Not too fancy again. On the back, two two fans in there. Quick design. Sell these for fifteen twenty dollars. Money. What we're gonna do is take a little bit of bright red now. We're gonna finish off this guy. Overpower the other colors, you just want to add some of that. And it's coming into the way it's a little bit painted in clouds. And the clouds get them vibrant there. Add all the red in here. With a little bit of white. Just a little bit, and we're going to to our waves here. Just a little bit of sun is shining through right there. Get in right up on it and get some of those highlights. Make sure they look really good, you know. You can pop out. Look good. Just want to have some of those little sides in it. Going back a little bit. So, I 
Alright, so what really makes this design is the palm trees and the name that come on here. So we're gonna start off by adding some palm trees with a little bit of brush underneath, and we're gonna go from there. To make the palm trees, you're gonna make a quick stem going up. Side. Brush. Do the brush, you know, just some quick little strokes. Nothing too fancy, just keep it fast, simple. And then just get this going in every which way direction. So you're going to make the tree tops here. Start by the floor. Set the lines here, and then coming down off that line, we're going to do some damage there. You gotta have a strong script for this. Um, you know, just practice and practice the script until you get pretty good. Add the name of the script right across there. You don't have to use script, you can use different kinds of, you know, of whatever you like, you know, old English, scratch lettering, whatever. You know, different ad, let your customer pick. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and add that in real quick.
One last thing too is I always like to add white highlights to my lettering. Just makes it look cool, makes it pop. And I just add a little bit, make a dot and let it shine and bring it down with a little bit of a dagger stroke. And then just off the top. Don't get too crazy. And on all the leaves at the bottom, we're gonna add just a little bit of dot. 